Right now we have live pictures outside Highland Park City Hall where a candlelight vigil will get underway this evening for the victims of last week's 4th of July parade shooting. Seven people died, dozens were injured. CBS 2's Tara Molina is there live. And Tara, you spent the day talking to those working to make a difference, and that includes someone who started a Facebook group, Stronger Highland Park. Joe, a Facebook group with almost 10,000 members in it tonight. People from this area, across the country, even the world, looking to get involved and help out here in any way they can. Now, through that group, through signs that she created and a number of other endeavors, the woman we're about to introduce you to has raised more than $100,000 for this community. This is Stronger Highland Park on Facebook. 9.4 thousand members strong. People here looking to get help, give help, and share in any way they can. Lamore Zilberman. Uh, but it's definitely taken on a life of its own and one I could have never anticipated or planned for. Of our community that has lots of love. The and woman behind it all, the Facebook page, these signs born from it, and a number of organized donations. And people kept saying, where can we send money to? How can we offer more help? What else do you need? And I just realized I needed one central repository for all the information where people could request help and where people could offer their help, their time. Check out these posts, offers to help with mini therapy horses, meals, toy donations, drop-offs, even Cubs tickets for people looking for a mental and physical break. She told me the Facebook page is one of the ways she's working to help this community, partnering with others she's connected with on the page to make these a reality. So there was someone that reached out to me, Elian Rosenblatt, who I don't know, and she said, do you want, I'm a graphic designer, I'd love to just create a logo, do you need help? And I said, great, let's do it. And it took off from there. And within 24 hours, we had sold out of our first thousand, and it's probably about five or six days later, we've sold 4,100 signs and raised over $100,000 for the community. Money going to the Highland Park Community Foundation. A mom of three with a full-time job, she says this hasn't been a small undertaking, but it's been amazing to see the community come together and even larger community join in that too. We've had folks from California, we've had folks from Canada, we've had folks from Georgia. People interested in buying a sign for their yard, donating money and offering help in this group from all over the country and the world. I've committed myself to just ensuring that everyone gets help and this isn't something that is it will have an end date. The yard signs are going to get distributed over the next couple of days. But I think the support that this community is going to need and deserves will be ongoing. We put more information on the Stronger Highland Park Facebook group. Facebook group for anyone at home who wants to check it out. It's in this story on our website right now. The vigil is set to start up here outside City Hall in just under an hour. For now, reporting live in Highland Park, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News. Well, the response and the support's been uh, impressive to say the least. Tara, thank you very much for that live report and we'll be seeing more of that candlelight vigil. In fact, we'll stream it live on our digital streaming network so you can be a part of the community healing. Our coverage starts at about 6.30, you'll find it on our website, cbschicago.com, and on our CBS Chicago app.